Oh, now you're gonna leave me down here, huh? What was those comments? Oh, uh, well, I can. Good morning, guys. Wow. Nice morning. That irrigation's running, and there is Emma. We got some pump, and pump stuff to do down at the pump house. Picking up the trash racks and moving some stuff around. So I have now stole my brother's truck and I have to take it to town and get him because he's getting his license today. So I gotta take him I gotta take his truck into town so then mom can bring me back home and then we'll go mess with the pump house, I guess. But um I will say as far as how this truck rides, I like it, but as far as like just the half ton portion of it where the brakes are so touchy, the gas pedal's so touchy, and everything like that not really my favorite um but that's my personal preference i like to kind of have that little bit of lag here and there but this truck has no lag in it so yeah but it is the eco boost i don't know it's stock and it's got a lot of power to it to get up and go so so how are you guys doing today so today we're gonna get some lime in our old 88 Mac because the old one we had they had problems with it so and this was the only truck we had with a wet kit at the time so it got put on it so I went and got I hauled lime last week with it last couple days I was going to get fertilizer and all the beans and stuff so but I got two more lime loads to get and I'll be done with the lime so hopefully I'll get that done well, I'm only gonna get one today. So, other than that, hopefully get the rest of it done this week. That's pretty much what we doing this afternoon. And then, but the rest of the week, tomorrow and stuff, I will be going to get liquid fertilizer down in Mount Vernon. So, pretty much what we're doing this week is kind of going to get lime and liquid fertilizer and all that for us for. Uh, so I uh, so, uh, have it and stuff for when we need it. So, so. get after it, get after it. And now we're, we're in the truck that blows the smoke. So we're also, right now, we're currently uh, going down to, we're taking hopper bottoms. Like this is one of the nice new hopper bottoms that we just got. And it is going down to Evansville. And it is going to go, oh, this thing's got the, uh, hold on a second, Augie's calling me. So, anyways, as I was saying before, Augie rudely interrupted me. Um, we are going down to Mount Vernon. They're hauling grain down there, and then on their way back, they're bringing a load of fertilizer. So they're getting like dap and potash and stuff. I think they're getting potash right now. No, they're getting dap right now. They're bringing in dap right now, so then that way we can uh, start spreading once we start harvesting. And we was running a little bit low. And the good thing about it is, is whenever we go down to Evansville to get uh to drop off grain we can just hop like literally right across the railroad tracks and fill up with fertilizer and then come home now granted doing that with them hopper bottoms is very hard on them so we typically wash them off every day we wash out the insides of them because if not then they'll rust but yeah sorry i ain't gonna get to show you guys the uh, speed boost on this thing but yeah the eco boost is fast fast it's a lot of fun. Ah, pulling in chuckle. There, mom. So I got Augie taken care of, and now I got to go hook up to the trailer. If I can find a goose ball. Go, uh, not a goose ball. If I can find a ball hitch, then we'll hook up to a trailer, and then we'll go down to the pump house and get that taken care of. So, guys, I made it here. This is the Mitchell Rock Quarry. And we will go, uh, we normally get lime and a rock here. So, but right now, I'm here. CB, I've been having problems with CB, so, and plus I get out and tarp it. But I normally go in there and talk and tell them I'm here. So, I'm gonna go do that now, and then I'm gonna get my lime and go on out here. 
So, we got the main loaded up here, hooked on the truck. All right, let's get the rest of this fuel in and go. Yes, you have to put the fuel in this truck like that. I know, kind of messed up, but the uh, problem with it is, is I don't think it's really put in that fill tube's really in there right. And I just really haven't had the motivation to fix it because it'll probably be in the shop next week. Anyways, getting something else done to it, so. All right, let's get going. Oh, I need a chain, I need a chain. Why don't one of you guys remind me of that? I need a chain, come on. Never mind. we got a chain. We got a chain, we're good to go. Let's go. Okay. Moving. I showed up late, so he carried it. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> what are we doing here, Dad? Gonna we'll raise trash racks up. Can you get all that trash through? Is there any dead fish down there? Probably. Oh, yay. All right, let's put this thing on. Hey, Dad, it smells like wet grain down here. Yeah. It's hard to believe how high the water gets until you're down here and it's low. So we're gonna hook this in here. And then the intentions is, oh. that, that'll pull up that rack and let all that crash through. There's all kinds of spiders here. So then once dad gets that up there, he'll put a chain around this bar and that, like that top bar. That'll hold it up. He's probably not tired of listening to me talk too. <laughs> He's gonna go. That one ain't gonna go, is it? I think her old beaver buddy's back. Think it'll go there? Oh, oh. Nope, nothing. Not even a little bit. What about that one? You think that one will go, Dad? I got it. Nope. Ain't gonna do it. Dang. So, got my square there and told them empty weight's good, so. Hello?
back here. They got the big line pile there. You know, the big bucket there. I will get... He will dump on me two times, and that will give me roughly around 25 ton. And then I will take that back and dump it there off, dump it off where it needs to be. So, but, uh, yeah, we'll go. I'm going to show you the whole process here in a second. He's got his one dump, as you can tell. You can feel him dumping on you when he goes to dump it. You can feel it dumps it so then he'll do then he'll go and do that twice and then he'll go over that line pile get another bucket dump it on then he'll honk and that'll be my signal to go then i will go back up there and then like go back up that way and then go out to the scale but you can tell this is the rock quarry the back of it so they got a little creek or something over there if you drive back along there look out there it's a beautiful view so get done and get home so i just went down there with the rake and tried getting it i got to go just barely so we ended up closing the gates up and what it is we think it's the beaver dam so try and flush it out Let's see if i can get this cord up there But what we're doing is we're closing the gates so then the water level will go up. We'll open it up. All that stuff should then float out. So we'll see if it works or not. I'm currently thinking about leaving him down there. You think he'd like me afterwards? Hey, Dad. Hello. <laughs> so what we're doing here is... Don't worry. It didn't go unnoticed. <laughs> these gates there's uh there was two of them that was out there's another one over there we're getting ready to put it in he's down there he's got a handyman handle and he's trying to clean out the thing so then it'll sit down in there right okay go that way you want to go sideways i want to go just turn your butt just turn your Don't leave me down here. Wow. That don't look healthy at all. Can't believe I was driving tractors across this. Wow. This is the bridge we drive tractors across and that everybody says, how do you drive your sprayer across it? And look at it. The wood's all rotted underneath of it. That was holding it up. Holy cow. All right, Dad. What was those comments you were making about me? You gonna leave me in the ditch? Oh, now you're gonna leave me down here, huh? What was those comments? Oh, uh, well, I can swim. Life's a lot quieter with you down there. I can swim unlike you. <laughs> I'm on a merry-go-round. <laughs> Got the main load back up. Uh, we are gonna go ahead home now. Got the, got everything taken care of down here for now. Uh, Dad's not very happy about that bridge, I'm guessing, but there ain't nothing we can do about it. Uh, part of it, that bridge is old. It came with the farm. We've had this farm for probably 30 years, so probably lucky it's made it this long. Um, we basically decided that we're no longer going to 
drive heavy stuff across it, so yeah. Here, that button in, but that's gonna release the latches on the trailer. Now after I get all that done, I come up here and turn the PTO and stuff on so I can lift up the dump bed. You're gonna throttle allows us to move up. So good morning guys, uh, we're on our way up to Russellville right now. I got some corn up there that I want to look at, put Veltim on it. I want to make sure that we don't got any tip back or anything like that from the uh, lack of rain. Make sure that everything seems like it's going okay. See if we need to put any sulfur through it or anything like that. We're still about three or four days out on harvest here at the farm, here around the farm. So we'll be running by the end of the week, or at least I hope. And then hopefully our surprise is here by then. I can only hope. But it should be. It's on the way. It's on the way. So we are up here at Russellville now. Uh, I was itching to come look at this corn because it is late, late corn. I mean, it's nothing early and it's definitely not something that you'd want in a yield contest. But with the uh, amount of work that we've put into it, I'd hope that it does pretty good. It looks to me from looking at it here on the edge, which grand I know we're not in the field, so it's not an accurate representation as to the whole field. That's really good for late plant corn. Especially consider that one's pollinated, or well, I don't know if that one's pollinated, but this one is. See, there's two of them all the way across there. Dang. Now, if only we could get them all to fill out all the way, that'd be great. Walk out here a little ways and pull off near to get a nice representation of the field here, and then we'll see. But this was ran with Trevor Pro, and you can kind of tell it's not doing that great on disease control compared to what Veltima does. So. Yeah, let's pull an ear or two off. We'll see what it looks like. I'll get them out of here. But this is looking like it might actually be a decent corn crop out of this farm. In which it's been a while since we've had corn crop up here, so excited to see it. Really am. Pull off an ear or two and then go out there and count them. So this looks actually really good for being, like I said, late planted corn. This was planted in June early June so I'd say on something like that I mean there's a size comparison to my hand for you something like this I'd say that we'll end up seeing like 180 to 200 on a good year so hopefully we can keep it all though but that one was getting gnawed out by the bugs and I haven't been up here in a while but I think these beans will go by the end of the week they're losing a lot of vegetative, vegetative, so hopefully they can go by the end of the week. This corn, some of this corn up here will go pretty soon too. I mean, it's not that far behind what we got around the farm. But, oh well, nothing we can do yet. We just gotta wait. <laughs> 